This is case study number four, Noah, by Justine Garcia, Paige Jones, and Audrey Weir. So who is Noah? He is a Mexican-American, 10-year-old fourth grade student at Chicago State Academy. Noah has a primary diagnosis of schizencephaly. He has secondary diagnosis of cerebral palsy, intellectual disability, orthopedic impairment, and speech or language impairment. Noah qualifies as a student with multiple disabilities. At school, he received speech therapy, occupational therapy, and physical therapy to address his needs. He lives at home with his grandfather, step-grandmother, and uncle. His grandfather has full custody, but he still sees his biological father. Noah enjoys playing with with an iPad, cell phone, blocks, cars, and singing at church. And he uses a manual wheelchair. Noah's strengths. He is very outgoing and courteous to peers and adults alike. He enjoys school and is highly motivated to participate during instructional periods. Noah uses body language, such as pointing, facial gestures, and vocalizations, and a variety of communication devices to communicate with family, school personnel, and peers. He is very good at expressing his personal needs and care. Noah is successful in school when he is given extended time to finish his assignments and receives modeling, prompting, and guidance. He is successful in math when he has direct one-on-one -on -one support, modeling, visual representations of the problem, extended time, one-to-one -one instruction, and choices when answering questions. No one learns best in 30-minute durational periods with frequent physical rest breaks and in a group of four to five students. Noah enjoys reading the Scholastic Weekly Reader series and responds appropriately to questions when two choices are provided. Noah enjoys and actively participates in his science class and social study class. He benefits from given examples and explanations. Noah is independent in feeding with finger foods and can safely manage a school diet when setup is provided. Noah is alert and aware of his surroundings. Now we will address Noah's areas of improvements. Noah currently functions three years behind his peers in all developmental areas, which impede his ability to learn in a general education environment. He struggles with retention and application of presented content and skills. He has a short attention span and requires frequent cueing to attend to the task. Noah has gross and fine motor delays, which impact his ability to access his environment. Instructor assistants hand over hand or modeling is required to complete activities with fine motor skills. He demonstrates delays in the following math areas, applying learned related vocabulary, general number sense skills, applied problem computation, interpreting geometric concepts, concepts of measurement, interpreting and displaying data, and solving numerical e equations. Noah struggles with sight word recognitions and requires moderate level prompting along with the field of two to three response choices. He currently requires moderate to intensive support to accurately complete the uh, task in language arts. Noah requires help in most activities relating to daily living, such as clothing manipulation, food preparation, and modeling for appropriate usage of encountered objects. Noah is dependent for his hygiene and clothing management. Noah continues to hit, scratch, and or pinch on occasion. His grandfather believes this is out of frustration because he cannot express everything he wants to say. The following tests were administered to Noah. By the occupational uh, therapist, the quality of upper extremity skills test is a criterion reference measure that evaluates upper extremity function in children between the ages of 18 months to eight years of age with a diagnosis of cerebral palsy. 
The four domains assessed include dissociated movements, grasp, protective extension, and weight bearing. The sensory processing checklist is an educational tool that highlights particular signs of sensory processing dysfunction in the following behaviors. Gross motor, fine motor, touch, movement, and balance, visual perception, auditory language, and emotional. Each area is evaluated through one to nine school-related activities. The tester determines how often the child exhibit, exhibits the following behaviors by checking one of the following. Yes, frequently, sometimes, or never. After the checklist, the tester marks the academic areas of concern. The Wisconsin Assistive Technology Initiative is a concise two-page listing of assistive technology arranged by the task for which it is utilized. The assessment was utilized to provide an overview of the assistive technology consideration, assessment, and planning process that the educational team should implement. The occupational therapist also did clinical observations and therapeutic handling. The following test administered by the special education was the Westchester Intelligence Scale for Children, 6th edition, and the purpose of this test was to assess NOAA's intellectual and academic functioning and to assist in making recommendations regarding his academic needs. A review of his previous psychological data will be used. The Kaufman Test of Academic Achievement, 2nd edition, is an interview that was conducted with his teachers and NOAA's one-on-one -on -one aides. There was also a second interview with Noah's father via telephone. The Woodcock-Johnson 3 test of achievement, subtest age equivalent, grade equivalent, is assessment to assess Noah's letter word identification, understanding of directions, passage comprehension, and applied problems. The Westchester Intelligence Scale for Children 4 is a test to assess cognitive functioning, the data it will yield is NOAA's level of verbal comprehension and perceptual reasoning. The Kaufman Test of Educational Achievement, second edition, was administered to test NOAA's letter and word recognition, math composite, math concepts and applications, math computation, and listening comprehension. The purpose for which it was used is to assess his overall reading, math, and writing abilities. The Peabody Picture Vocabulary Test was administered to test for auditory comprehension of language age equivalent, word classes and relations, grammatical morphemes, elaborated sentences, and a test of articulation. Finally, the Vinland II Adaptive Behavior Rating Scale survey interview form was administered to solicit feedback from NOAA's guardian noting specific adaptive behavior ratings. Description of the test results. The quality of the upper extremity skills tests show that NOAA's hand function moderately impacts the quality of movement of his upper extremities. The results for the sensory processing checklist and Wisconsin Assistive Technology Initiative were not included in the IEP. The West Chesler Intelligence Scale for Children 4th Edition was administered and an overall cognitive score of 57 was obtained, indicating intelligence within the extremely low range, breaking NOAA's performance at the 0.2 percentile when compared to others his age. The results of the Kaufman Test of Educational Achievement 2nd Edition indicated that NOAA tested in the low extreme category for letter and word recognition, math concepts and applications, math com com completions, and listening comprehension. According to the Woodcock-Johnson 3 Test of Achievement, NOAA is identifying words as if he was a four-year-old, five-month child. He can understand directions as if he was a three-year, three-month-old child. He can understand comprehension passages as if he was a five-year, 11-month-old child. He can solve applied problems as if he is a three-year, three-month, 
student. According to the Peabody Picture Vocabulary Test, Noah's word classes and relations is four, four to six and four to 10, which means that he falls in the range of a four year, six month and a four year, 10 month old child. Noah's grammatical morpheme score was three to three and three to five. These results mean that Noah has, Noah falls between a three year, three month student and a three year, five month student. Noah's elaborated sentences score fell between two to six and two to nine. The score means that Noah ranges between two year, six months old and a two year, nine month old in the subtest. Based on the Finland two adaptive behavior rating scale, overall Noah has a low adaptive score. Communication and daily skill domains are low. He has a moderately low score in the socialization domain. He has adequate levels of functioning and coping skills and receptive communication. Remedial plan. The classroom environment is a concern and we believe in order for Noah to achieve as a student, the classroom should be modified to be accessible for Noah's wheelchair. The classroom layout should be organized in the following. The desk and table should allow the appropriate amount of space for wheelchair maneuverability in the class to participate in activities and in the event of a fire or fire drill. The desk or tables should have a cutout to allow Noah to sit in his wheelchair and have access to use the table or desk for school activities. The table or desk should be an appropriate height that accommodates for his lower extremities in a wheelchair as well as to promote a task ready position for his upper extremities and trunk to prevent hunching over. Books, arts and craft supplies, and toys should be at a height where Noah can reach without assistance. Noah's locker or cubby should also be at an appropriate height and location to allow for accessibility in his wheelchair. Noah would benefit from hand arm by manual intensive therapy because he currently depends on his right hand for activities. He is unable to and does not attempt to use his left hand. Habit is, an appro is appropriate for Noah because it aims to improve the use and coordination of both arms in daily function. Noah would not benefit from constraint-induced movement therapy, also known as CIMT, because it emphasizes on unimanual training and he does not meet the requirements. Noah currently demonstrates decreased bilateral coordination with school tasks, such as using a glue stick or cutting with scissors, and is dependent for most self-care tasks. Noah would benefit from a wheelchair evaluation. This is appropriate because the team is unaware when Noah received his previous evaluation and his current wheelchair is a concern based on his abilities. Noah currently uses a manual wheelchair with a tray and can propel for a duration of time, but then depends on a paraprofessional for assistance. Noah is unable to and does not attempt to grasp or retrieve with his left upper extremity and also displays increased tone and limited activity range of motion in his left upper extremity. He depends on his right upper extremity that displays poor strength. Noah would benefit from a powered wheelchair and is capable of using a joystick control with his right hand. Noah also displays postural and lower extremity deficits. A new wheelchair should accommodate for these deficits to prevent further postural deformities, increase his ability to participate in bimanual activities, and maneuver independently and safely throughout the school and classroom. Noah would benefit from neural developmental therapy to help normalize his abnormal tone and to promote more natural movements during activities. The paraprofessionals, teacher assistants, and family members would benefit from educating and training in proper body